Joining us is a very interesting personality. He is popularly known as Mide Way. Ayomide is a Lagos-based commercial lifestyle photographer. He started his foray into the vast world of photography in 2014 at the age of 19 as a hobby. He acquired a bachelor's degree in business administration from Covenant University in 2015 and later on a master's degree in 2018. After the completion of his NYC in 2016, he decided to take on photography as a business where his burning passion for details in the arts of photography has provided him the opportunity to work with both upcoming and well-known brands. Ayomde is full of ideas and hopes to expand the Mide Way brand far beyond what already ex exists. Let's welcome Mide Way. <laughs> And it's a <laughs> What's good, bro? Hi. How are you doing? I'm all right. Come on. Okay, so nice to have you on the uh, let, let's, let's just do my introduction on, on air. So I know me day way well, actually. I'm a oh, fan. Wow. Yes. Ooh. So that well sounds very, very. Yeah, it's not like that, so yeah, we've never met before, and I don't know. I don't think it's that mutual. So he, I know you went to see you, and I have quite a lot of friends from see you. Yeah. One time I went to see you, I went to go visit my friends. So I didn't study here, mm. and I saw everyone was like, me day. He's a troublemaker. I was packaging his mm. life, but troublemaker this and this and this and that. And that was the first time I saw his face, and I just left it I'm, I'm good with so images. what you know about and then him now? i saw him on instagram explore actually encouraged his page to me like you know how you're going on the explore page and everything i saw that we had like maybe over 40 something mm. mutual friends and all his guys are pretty much my friends and stuff so i followed him and i've watched me day <clears> on social media liked everything commented and i've watched this guy's work grow so to Aww. see that your ah. thing here is actually really <laughs> all right nice. all right so speaking of um, him being a troublemaker this is an exclusive he wouldn't give us because he would always want to speak well of himself <laughs> so what trouble was he making i mean he's just like really bubbly very trouble like He's a teaser. He's not not like that kind of trouble. Like good trouble, but you can see that with his friends, he's the he's the annoying the one girl that was like big teaser. Teaser. I don't I'd not see that. <laughs> I'd not see that part. I don't know. 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 All right, welcome to the show, me. My, I, she, she didn't lie. <laughs> she didn't lie. I want to ask you. Did a I question, lie though? though? <laughs> You're the girl teaser. Well, day. Day. Well, we'll talk after. after, the show, after <laughs> no, don't talk to me after the show. I'll, I'll talk to you after. Okay. Right. No, we'll talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to ask you something, though. I've watched, like I mentioned, I've watched your 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 skill, your your art really progress, and it's become this really massive thing. I think you and a few others. Let me not, let me not share your shine. There's a few others that's coming to my name, even from CU, that I feel like have started this journey of making photography really serious. It wasn't really that big of a deal. 10 years ago, in my opinion. Um, but do you think that your work has has been what has spoken for you or the industry just needed photography and you happen to fill that spot? Well, my work and my personality. Mm. Mm, they work hand in hand, really. So some people want to take pictures with me day because he's me day. Yes. Some people have not seen my work before, but when, we, when they meet me, mm. they will want to just shoot with me so there's yeah. something i call the mirror experience right all right I so like let's that. talk about let's talk about the photography industry yeah. in nigeria now we see a lot of mediocres everybody owns a canon and they think they can be on the street and they just claim that they're photographers and stuff mm -hmm. what's your take on the professionalism of the craft and how people should take it more seriously you know go to school for this yeah you started business at me so we need to say how did you improve yourself to be the media where you are today um, so basically, I was kind of self-taught, mm. but over time, I met other photographers that have mm. been in the industry mm. longer than I have been, and I, they were mentored me, mm. and I learned online. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of money in photography, to be honest, mm. and that's quite encouraging. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, With that big smile, like <laughs> smiling to the bank. As in like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's for real, because what I studied for four years, I didn't end up using it. Mm. But obviously, I used part of the knowledge to of use course. my business, but yeah. then... The money I'm making for photography is a whole lot. All right, so I'll ask you a very cliche question. In five years, where do you think you would be as a photographer? It's very cliche. It's what everyone would ask. But I want to know your dreams and aspirations in the next five years. Do I want to share my secrets? <laughs> it's not a secret. Yay. We'll still see it. We'll still see it. We'll still see it. We'll still see it. I might not be in this country. Okay. It don't matter. Okay. Well, okay. we'll see it. Are you going to go off social media? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how big it is. I want to ask you, though, um, what has been that... Will I say, apart from your, you already hinted a bit on your personality that a lot of that has to do with you. But in terms of infrastructure now, working in Nigeria as a photographer, mm -hmm. what has been that one advantage that you think you have that has helped you really get the recognition that you're getting now? Um, so branding is really important. Um, the way you set your brand is the way people perceive it. Mm -hmm. um, the kind of things you show people are what people will use to judge you. 
to be honest. So there are some pictures that I take and I'm like, ah, it's not good enough for right. the outside public mm. to see. Right. And there's some pictures I'll take and I'll be like, wow, if mm. people see, they'll mm. be like, yeah. But I think, I, okay, the reason I'm asking this question is because I'm actually biased. I have an answer in my head that I think it's, it's, mm. it's but obviously you're uh, wrong, so I'll bring it out and you correct me or, you know, okay, debunk no it, yeah. I think a lot of it has to do with your networking as well. You seem to be placed in the right places. Like, the people that are, quote unquote, cool, on social media, me days there. You know, the people that are hot right now on social media, you're there. So there's a lot of networking and brand. This is not public perception now because I've, I've never had this conversation with you. Yeah. But it seems to be that you are strategically and intentionally mm. placing yourself in the right spaces. Am I wrong or is this you're just in my head? Right. Okay. 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 It's under branding. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Fair, All right. fair, fair. All right, so I like the fact that she asked the question because I would like to ask that what are some of the opportunities that you think should be in place that would help a photo Grapher, you know, mm. to be well grounded and strategically placed in the right places at the right time, get the right shots and all that. What are some of those opportunities that you think that the government or even your industry colleagues or even the celebrities can provide for you that would help your craft? Um, the fact that in the industry, some people look down on Nigerian photographers, mm. so you see brands giving out jobs to foreigners mm. Mm. when they can give it to Nigerians, mm. and from then you know you can prove yourself. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten to prove myself with brands, and that's what has helped me over time. Mm -hmm. I have a very wide, um, wide um, portfolio in terms of working with brands, and mm -hmm. that's what has helped me. But not everybody has this opportunity. So I just feel like it's important if brands can help give oh, these opportunities I'll, to I'll, upcoming okay. I want to ask really quickly, because obviously there's a lot of people, a lot of young that are in the art scene, and also want to take pictures, right? Yeah. And for someone who doesn't have money, because I suspect that cameras alone are quite expensive, so it seems like something that's like cost-intensive to start. Yeah, actually. Okay, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> can, is there any other way they can just manage it with the small money that they have? <sighs> networking, mm. to be honest. Networking. Mm. Putting yourself like you have to make sacrifices and right. network with some right. people. Like sometimes you can you do something without thinking about the money mm. because right. there's a bigger picture to it. Mm. Mm. Right. So. All right, so we're running out of time. So finally, I'd just like to touch on intellectual property because you see a lot of photographers on live music where you're entitled to royalties and stuff mm. like that. You just take your pictures, you put it online, and somebody goes there, takes the picture, uses it for their own use. If I do that without your consent, what are some of the um, repercussions or what are some of the... Um, Backlash. Yeah. Mm. Is there going to be a backlash for my yeah. action? Consequences. Well, Nigeria is not so strong. Mm. That's yeah. the problem. So I have worked with brands and I always set out the contract for them. But in Nigeria, people taking pictures from the internet, there is really no um, backing for it. Mm. Unlike music, where all maybe right. you post out a video mm. and there's somebody's song on it, copyright and mm. all. So mm. that's all right. All right. It's been amazing having this chat oh. with you, Midday. I wish I'd we had more questions. time. <laughs> I wish we had ah, more time. Ah, you should have told me it was Midday. <laughs> but I didn't say it was Midday. I well, have questions. We don't have okay. more time, and this is all we can take for now. But thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all our exclusive content, including this one and all other content, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa.